Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will see basics of geometrical construction in which we will see how to draw a perpendicular to a given line, how to bisect a given line or arc or divide a line equally in given number of parts. So let's get started. First creating a perpendicular to a given line. There are three methods we will see all one by one. I'm taking an example for better understanding. Let us say we have an example question given to us. Draw perpendicular to the line PQ at any point on it. So this is the line PQ given to us. Solution. Step number one. Select any point at which you want to draw the perpendicular to the given line. Here let us consider point A. So I'm considering point A here. Step number two. Using compass, selected point as center and suitable radius R1, draw arcs on either side of the selected point. Here the select point, point is A. Name the arcs here as B and C. So I have taken here A, keeping compass on A with suitable radius R1. This is to be taken on our own. Drawing arc on this side, on the left then keeping up was at A only drawing on right side as well. Naming this arcs so it is B and this is C. Step number three using another radius R2 and with B and C as centers draw arcs above and below the line. Note you have to take another radius here that should be greater than the previous one. So keeping compass at B now taking radius R2 as you can see it is greater than R1 you have to draw an arc above here and an arc below then you have to shift the compass from B to C now compass on C one arc above one below step number four name the intersection point of arcs here let us say D and E so this point will be named as D and this will be named as E last step join D and E using a straight line like this. Now the line we have found D and E is nothing but perpendicular to the given line PQ. This is the first method. You have to note wherever I have shown here lines or labels with red color that indicates it's only for your understanding purpose. You may not need to draw it on the final solution. Let us see the second method. I'm taking the same question as an example in order to avoid any confusion. So this is the line PQ given to us. Solution. Step number one. Select any point at which you want to draw the perpendicular to the given line. Considering the same point A. Step number two. Using compass, draw an arc from selected point that is A in our case taking some suitable radius R1. So keeping the compass here at A, taking radius R1, creating an arc. Now using the same radius, here I have made this same radius bold because in the previous method radius was different. Here we have to use the same radius R1. Mark two points in progressive way on this drawn arc and name them. So you have to keep your compass here with the same radius R1 you will cut one arc. Now you have to keep the compass at this arc cut again. This is the progressive way. You have to name them B and C. Then fourth step using same radius again R1 in the compass which you have and point B and C as centers. Draw arcs above which intersect each other and name the point D. So you have to keep the compass at B, draw an arc above, you have to keep the compass at C, draw another arc. Name this point as D. Last step, join D and A using a straight line. So this is how you have to join it. Now the line DA which you have drawn is a perpendicular required for given line PQ. This is method number Moving towards the third and the last method, keeping the same example to avoid confusion. This is the given line to us. Solution, the first step, 
select any point at which you want to draw perpendicular to the given line here we are considering that point as a and you have to select one more point away from the line here we are taking it as b so this is our point a where we want the perpendicular to be drawn and this is another point away from the line which is taken as b step number two taking b as center and b a as radius draw an arc so you have to keep your composite b here this is the radius r1 b a and you have to draw an arc like this make sure the arc should intersect with this line somewhere and it should be almost more than 180 degrees okay then name the intersection of arc on the line pq as c then draw a line joining c b and extend it till it meets arc at d so this is the intersection point of this arc and the line given to us pq so this is point c now you have to join a line using c b and extend it so this is how you have to extend it and this is the intersection of this line with the arc at point D. Fourth step, the last one, join D and A using straight line. So this is DA which is a required perpendicular to the given line PQ. Now bisecting a given line. For better understanding, let us take an example, bisect the given line AB. So this is the line AB given to us. Solution, step by step, we'll see. First step, using compost, take radius R1 equal to more than half of the given length of the line. So we have to take more than half in our compost using step number two. Now using A as center, draw X above and below of the line and repeat the same by taking B as center. So you have to take more than half in your compass. So this is the line. You have to take approximately. You don't have to measure it. So I have taken more than half of this line in compass. I have kept my compass at A, drawing an arc above and drawing an arc below. Then I have to shift the compass from A to B here with the same radius intersecting these arcs, drawing another two arcs using B as center. Then you have to name the intersection points. Here we are using P and Q. So this is the intersection point P and this is the intersection point Q. Then you have to join P and Q using a straight line. So you have just bisected the given line AB. Now let us see how to bisect a given arc. The procedure remains same, still we'll see. Taking the same example, I'm just using an arc instead of line. So this is a given arc. Solution, the first step, you have to take compass, taking radius R1 equal to more than half of the given length of the arc. You have to understand, you can take it li linearly as well. So you can take compass, keep it here at A, more than half of it into the compass. Using AS center, draw the arc above and below the given arc and repeat the same using BS center. So you have to keep the compass here, taking R1, this is more than half of the given arc. You have to draw an arc above and another one below. Then you have to shift the compass from A to B here, creating an arc above and below. Then the next step will be naming the intersection points so this intersection point can be named as p and this will be named as q now you have to join with a straight line so this is the straight line we have to join using this and you have just bisected the given arc now coming to the last topic for today's video dividing a given line in any number of equal parts for better understanding, I am using here certain dimensions for the line. Divide the line CD 60 mm in 7 equal parts. Now I have taken here dimension because in order to understand this question, you have to do 7 parts and the value given here is 60 which is not easily available. We will be having fraction and 
in order to avoid those fractions you can easily do it using geometry so let us understand how it can be done solution step number one draw the given line with the given dimension horizontally so this is the line cd we will take c then we will take 60 mm length and you will complete this line as cd next draw a line at a particular angle to the given line note you have to keep the angle smaller approximately around 30 degree now this is a suggestion okay you can take any angle you don't have to measure it but if you keep it smaller then the drawing will look more presentable and more good looking so i have drawn this line at this angle i have taken it below you can take it above also okay so i have taken this line then using compass and a suitable radius draw arcs on the inclined line so this is the inclined line we have taken we have to draw arcs on it using suitable radius radius can be anything you can select it now how many arcs should be drawn so remember number of arcs should be equal to number of given equal parts which is mentioned in the question here in our case it is seven so i'll take compass with suitable radius i'll keep compass on c first cut an arc name it as one dash now i'll keep my compass at one dash without changing any radius cutting another arc naming it as two dash likewise keeping compass at two cutting it again here three dash compass here four dash keeping compass here five dash keeping compass here six dash keeping compass here say at six dash last one seven dash i have made seven parts of this inclined line okay now join the last arc in our case it is seven dash with the other end of the line that is in our case it is d so you have to join this point with this d and name it seven so you have done this now transfer points from inclined line to the given line by drawing lines from each point on inclined line and parallel to the line 7 dash d so you have to make your roller scale parallel to this line roll it transfer these points on the given line so like this parallel to this line i have just transferred it again transferring phi dash here which is again parallel roll it backwards transferring like this you have divided the given line cd in seven equal parts you can measure these parts they will be all same in length hope you have enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe it. Thank you for watching.